2011-2012 Black Snowboard of Death. It's the highest price point deck in the Capital Line. Um, coincidentally, it's been in the Capital Line since day one. This is the 11th year for the Black Snowboard of Death. Throughout the years, it's evolved from a capped board into an any day all terrain freestyle beast. Has a flex rating of six. You'll see on the website it says a flex rating of seven. You'll see in the catalog it also says a flex rating of seven. Uh-uh, six. You hit it, heard it here first. The Totally Awesome has a higher flex rating or is a little stiffer board than this. Um, this is a directional deck, meaning it has a progressive side cut. It's set back in stance a half inch, and um, it's a hybrid camber board, meaning we have camber underfoot and then flat kick from insert pack to tip flat kick from insert pack to tail. On top of that, we have what is called as death grip. Death grip is a third contact point on this board. Because in its lineage, it was such a turning board, we've got a lot of people out there that think that this is a turning beast. And when you elevate the contact points on the tip and tail, you lose some of that um, edge hold. So this third contact point in here, uh, the death grip, actually anchors in and gives you back that stability while still letting this board be super friendly. This is a one board quiver. It's your high performance deck to do anything and everything from riding park, rails, dropping cliffs, hitting booters, riding a pipe, or riding pile. This is your one deck arsenal that can handle all that. Construction, it's got Capita's highest end construction, so we use a PLT top sheet which is lacquer free on here, but you've got a real depth in the graphics. We use a P2 core, which is poplar and polonia wood, 30% uh, lighter than the core we used previously in the Black Death. Um, also, we use a marine resin combined with the bi tri fiberglass. That resin um, and the glass combined give a real snappy flex and allow us to use a lighter or a thinner wood core. So that's why this deck is so light. Basalt 20 millimeter VTEC in the tip and tail. So you have two stringers because it is flat kicked and you have an elevated tip and tail. We have four from insert pack to tip, insert pack to tail, basalt forks that give you a lot of pop. Rotation wax infused base. So it's a centered super hard base that's wax infused, it won't dry out. You have the original Merchant of Death skull there, pretty badass. And then on top of that, you can see, or you might not be able to see, but there's a matte skull that's underneath there. Um, that glows in the dark, so when you get your night shred on, you get some evil lurking at you. This one, good wood, way back when. Um, it's available in sizes 156, 159, 62, and 65. This is Dan Breezy's weapon of choice. Black Snowboard of Death from Capita. I just love cheeseburgers with all my heart. No lettuce, no tomato, just meat, cheese, and bun, and a lot of ketchup. Oh. Oh. Um, with 50 grand, you can buy 50,000 cheeseburgers from McDonald's with the dollar menu, or 30,000 from TGF Fridays.